Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Welcome to a Toast to the Men Network with your guy SD Booker. Thanks for joining me. I thank you guys for the support, for your patience, for your love. I do. Uh, man, it's been a while since I've done this. Maybe 11 days ago uh, since my last recording on YouTube. It's been a while. So, yeah, a lot has happened. I'm actually going through a, a, more, a bit of a morning. Uh, a morning experience, a loss. Uh, so yeah, that's as part of it. But I also wanted to, uh, I guess, fast and release myself from some things. Uh, for instance, social social media is one of them. I just needed a break. And uh, you know, for you guys who follow me on IG or Facebook, although I'm not, I was never on Facebook a lot. But for you guys who follow me on IG, you know, I've, I've disabled uh, that account for now. Pause it, I guess you could say. Yeah, I just need a break, man. Sometimes you got to do that. You just got to step back uh, and fast from some things, whether it be people, uh, food, alcohol, uh, you know, uh, anything, man. Just uh, social interaction sometimes. You got you to gotta fast and regroup. Reju- uh, rejuvenate yourself, get your batteries recharged, and uh, that's what I'm in the process of doing now. Man, I don't even know if I'm going to get back on IG or Facebook. Uh, definitely, probably not Facebook. But I was just thinking, I was like, man, I I love this feeling, you know, because I only got onto social media uh, a few years ago. You know, it was to promote a club I was co-owner of. And then after that, it was to promote the book. And, uh, you know, so I found my, my niche where I can, you know, motivate, encourage, inspire, and also market uh, anything I'm attached to. Uh, but other than that, I'm not really, you know, on social media. You know, I don't check out the celebrities or what they're doing. If it's people I'm attached to, I have a rapport with. I'll definitely, you know, check out their page and share their their pages and things like that, their posts. Uh, I am interested in the people I have a rapport with uh, or anything about motivation and inspiration. I'm, I'm, I'm a big advocate of that. But, yeah, man, other than that, I don't – I feel no loss <laughs> when it comes to social media, man, hey, to each his own, though. But I want to – Wish all the fathers a happy, belated Father's Day. You know, I know Father's Day just passed uh, this Sunday. But uh, so I'm late to the party. And so that's why it's a happy, belated Father's Day. I, mean, I want to shout out to all, shout out all the fathers. Uh, I know it's not a, a position uh, that is, let's see, that is, uh, highlighted or celebrated a lot but it's very important it's very important and it's very noticeable when that position is not filled it's very noticeable when the position is filled but with an inadequate father and so uh yeah any any time a child uh gets in trouble the first thing you want to know is where is the father. Anytime a teenager or an adult gets in trouble, I think subconsciously, I know I do, subconsciously, I, I think that the person grew up without a father. Without even knowing that person, I subconsciously think they grew up without a father uh, or had a bad father. You know, uh, and maybe that's not fair <laughs> that you know, I tie those two together that, you know, uh, a, a person that has made some, some horrific or some grave mistakes did not have a father or had an adequate father. Uh, can you be a good father? Can you be a good father and raise a uh, an inadequate uh, juvenile or, or young adult? Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. But I, I know me. I automatically think, man, this person didn't have a father. If I see a young lady or a woman acting a certain way, 
or having a certain mindset, I, I automatically think, man, maybe she didn't have a father. I automatically think that. So that's how important the role of a father is, man. We get a lot of the blame. Uh, we have a lot of responsibility. We have a lot of uh, accountability, you know, but we are rarely celebrated. And so, man, I want to salute you guys and celebrate you. And also the stepfathers. I really want to celebrate the stepfathers. I know some people uh, feel a way about the role of a stepfather. You know, some men uh, push uh, for men not to step into that role. Uh, that's something I wouldn't uh, encourage someone to do. You know, I've been down that road. And, you know, I wouldn't encourage anyone to do it. I wouldn't discourage either or shoot someone down or, or criticize them for living their life the way they want to live their lives. Uh, but, yeah, that's not something I would uh, I would just really push for. But, man, when you when you really get that right nucleus where a father, a stepfather steps in and everything's clicking, uh, the, the mother, the wife... Is supportive of that stepfather. The kids support him. Um, the kids are respectful. The kids honor him. If there's a biological father involved, he's respectful to the stepfather. He honors that brother. He salutes that brother. And it's just a good uh, nucleus. Man, you're going to have a wonderful situation. However, I've rarely seen that situation you know, be healthy and fruitful like that. So, but it does happen. But, hey, to each his own. But yeah, I definitely want to salute fathers and the stepfathers. And, uh, you know, I want to I wanna shout out NBA rising star, young rising star, DeJunte Murray. DeJunte Murray. I want to shout him out. And th- this brother, this young brother, Man, it has quite a story. It has quite a story. Uh, he did one year in college. And he opted to go into the NBA draft. Now, originally, uh, he was predicted to go early first round lottery. But when the draft was coming up, it was nearing Rumors started spreading. You know how that is. It could be, you know, the upper brass or agents or media is putting this stuff out there. News started spreading that the Junte used to be in the gang or is it or is an active gang member. So his stock dr- dropped significantly uh, from being predicted to go lottery to the 29th pick in the draft first round the 29th pick in the first round went to San Antonio and he, he's doing good man this is uh this is probably his fifth year uh just signed a big contract a few years ago like 70 million four years 70 million so he's, he's doing good and uh you know the Junte explained at the time that yes he used to be in the game but he's no longer affiliated with the gang. Uh, he said he was in the gang and, and out there in the streets from the age of 11. And uh, he said, you know, he was active. He said people knew him when he came up on the scene. People knew who he was. He was active as a youngster at 11. And he said a lot of that was due to his mom having a drug problem. And... Uh, been in and out of the penitentiary and he just left you know to himself and so uh he ended up getting arrested uh, went to juvenile detention and after that he straightened up you know so it turns out that was a blessing in disguise he straightened up after that uh, graduated from high school disassociated himself from the game went to college for one year like I said Gets drafted, multi-millionaire, generational wealth. Um, but I really want to shout out 
the John T. Mary because I just saw a write up on him, him gifting his dad a new truck for Father's Day. You know, he said his dad and he didn't always have the best relationship. They bumped heads, they didn't see eye to eye for about eight years. It's a long time. He said, but we had our differences for almost seven to eight years. And I just want a relationship with my dad before it's too late. And not have one of us living with the regrets of not being a man and fixing the problems we had. He added, Mary added that he loves his dad. And he respects him for taking ownership on why you wasn't there as much as I wanted you to be as a kid. Happy birthday and happy early Father's Day, DeJounte said. And I hope you love the truck. Man, that's, that, that's beautiful there. That's beautiful. And you don't hear those types of stories often. I don't, I actually, I want to say often. That's, man, that, that's being polite right uh i don't think i've ever heard a story like that you know i hear stories like that when it comes to mothers who have uh made mistakes who were not there who uh were not you know good or, or not even an average parent and the kids being forgiving and, and still celebrating uh the mother i hear those stories all the time but i don't think i've ever heard a story like this and so that was big of the father for for owning uh, why he wasn't there. Maybe he had his own issues with drugs, you know. Uh, but he took ownership. It's good for the son, Dejounte Murray, for being forgiven, having a forgiven heart, and uh, putting his feelings to the side, putting his ego to the side, uh, and not only putting words of affirmation behind what he was feeling, but also putting his money behind it, gifting his father with a brand new truck. And so, you know, it's one thing for us to say, man, we forgive and we're moving on. But, man, you want to know where a man's heart lies, you, you follow his money. And he'll show you what means a lot to him. And so, you know, that that's, that's why I highlight the truck because it's, it's bigger than the truck when it comes to men. You know, we spend our money on you. We, we really mess with you. So, man, that's huge of that young man. And, man, I want to tell you, brothers, uh, listen, man, I, I get it. Sometimes, a lot of times, man, brothers do not get along with the kids' moms. And a lot of men are just like, man, I don't even want the trouble. You know, I love my kid. I love my child. But I don't even want the trouble, the drama of, of dealing with this woman just to be in my kid's life. You know, uh, her wanting to control the relationship, control my money, control my time. Uh, not let me have any say. I can't even really date. Seriously. You know, I get it. But brothers, there's nothing like fatherhood. Um, you know, nothing like fatherhood. And only you can say what you can take, what you can endure. No, I'm not going to tell anyone to go endure something because every situation is different. And it might be best sometimes for you to dissociate yourself, man, because, uh, some dangerous things can happen. You can put yourself in a dangerous, dangerous situation where you get hurt or you hurt someone and it just makes things worse. And uh, I understand some brothers just got to chalk it up, man. Like, man, you know, I, I, I lay with the wrong woman. But if, if, if I have to deal with her, man, it's going to be costly. So, I, I mean, I get that. And I think a lot of brothers... Are not involved because of that you know um, and I'm gonna tell you something man the more responsible you are as a father 
the more you have it together, um, the more drama you're going to receive. That's just the way it is. Um, if you have a job, if you're responsible, you'll get that child support on you. If you don't have a job and you got a drug habit and you got an alcohol habit, you know, you got felonies, whatever the case may be, they won't put child support on you. The strangest thing, man. And I'm telling you, man, I've heard this over and over again. Women be like, well, I, could, I can't get anything out of them. You know, it's just weird. But she laid with them. But, uh, so, man, this it's, it's, a, it's a wild thing, bro. Uh, so, I get it. I get it, man. Uh, even the court system, they would not show you leniency if you are a responsible brother. If you are a responsible brother and you lose your job, you hit hard times, they would not show you leniency most times. If you just come out of rehab and had to show up to family court, you got felonies or if you got you know some 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 uh, mental issues you will be shown leniency you will be shown grace by the court I, i've witnessed this myself so i get it brothers i get it it ain't fair but it is what it is man and you just got to move more wisely more maturely and more disciplined uh in this world in this life man in this dimension to protect yourself at all times you know be careful who you lay with and always try to you know uh communicate with the mother you know on a high level a respectful level uh and keep it moving man you know um uh, but i know it could be rough i know that firsthand uh i i fought in court and, and won i had the resources though uh but shit, at the time, it, it wiped out my resources. But I did start out with resources. And some brothers don't have the resources. And they give up that way too. They, they, they look at the courts. And it's intimidating. They don't have the money to hire, an, hire a lawyer. And still pay child support. It's, you know, so I get it. Uh, but yeah, protect yourself. Protect your mental. Protect your heart. Uh the surroundings man protect your money always put up money man even if you're married always put up some money you just never know how things are gonna turn out man but always protect yourself man that's the best advice I can give you guys so yeah man definitely shout out to the fathers the stepfathers shout out to that young brother NBA rising star the Jante Murray with the uh, San Antonio Spurs and his dad. Man, shout out to all y'all. You guys are appreciated. I love you guys, man. I think highly of you guys. I celebrate you guys. As always, love. Peace.